Okay, I'm doing a project with Bumble Lab A1 printhead and I was curious to see how to disassemble this part but to disassemble actually this part and not just uh, to remove it to see what is inside of it and if I can replace it, just this cable example I don't have this problem but if my cable gets uh, damaged if I want to replace just the cable to not buy this full part if it's possible to change just this cable and actually I went to online in Taobao I bought this one and it's to change it but I couldn't find any video on YouTube that teaches us how to replace this cable actually it's quite easy but since there's no video I'm going to make it for you this is actually brand new I didn't use it yet but I'm just gonna show you how to if you have the situation your cable damaged instead of buying this full unit you can just buy this part and replace it right uh, actually it's quite easy and this part is super cheap comparing with buying this full unit but I couldn't find anything online to show you how to replace just this part that's cheaper so it's quite easy let me show you you will need this type of special screwdriver if you have this type of packs uh, maybe inside you'll find a correct head this is age 1.5 you need a age 1.5 and this one no not this one this one this one they didn't write so i don't know but anyway if you have the pack of these types or these types you will find one that will fit uh will fit on these screws because there are special screws so the first thing we need to do come to the back here so we come here and we remove this part okay we remove these four screws okay when we're finished removing these four screws this part that is special material to not get burnt can remove you can remove it uh, let me show you in the camera very well like this you just lift it up it will come out probably when you already been printing for a while it can be a little harder but just wiggle it a little bit it will come out and pay attention the direction okay uh, when you remove this part put this cable straight so it will not be in the way you can remove the silicone part there is the silicone part here it's quite easy to remove and it will come out and after you need to change because these screws become smaller you need to change to this other size that is even smaller I don't know the reference of this screw head but you will remove this uh, small screws that is R4 thermistor these two small screws here don't lose because you are so small that it's difficult to replace don't lose it and the thermistor screws and the heat block heat block screws also you remove them they are covered with this part uh, that is a little like spring to push it down always you just remove these two you see the heating block is already coming out make sure you don't lose the small screws and also pay attention of the direction of this before you remove it okay and okay it, this part is already out if you are used to change the uh, heating block heating block now how you call this part heating anyway heating part and thermistor of other printers is quite similar and you can even see they have thermal paste here it's quite similar and for the thermistor we need to be very gentle here and there is you need to push it up and turn it around a little bit maybe from this side you can see it well you see the thermistor you push it up and if you rotate it if you have a tweezer it will help you a lot and rotate it a little bit it will just come out Pam. and then you can just replace with the new one but in my situation is not broken i'm not gonna replace it uh, if you replace it remember to add a little bit of the thermal paste add it back and then you can 
continue using it, okay? I will add here a little bit of thermal paste since I already removed it. To put it back is the same way that you remove it, just in reverse way. <laughs> Remember? This part will be down. Pay attention when you um, disassemble it. Pay attention in the direction of everything. If it's possible, take picture. Or you can come back for this video. This part will be up, like this. And I recommend you first, actually, first do the thermistor and then after this heating block. Actually, I think the most important for you is to see how is inside. That's why I made this video. So you can see how is inside, how to disassemble and assemble it back. And I hope this video helped you to fix your uh, heating part of your A1 or A1 mini or even the edge to the new printers because I think it's the same system. And if this video help you, helped you somehow, give me a like, subscribe and for more tips like this, stay awesome. Peace.